Go Seek is a tool in Excel that can help us automate tasks and also create analysis by calculating the value that we need to hit a target, a goal. So we have here, as we can see, four different practical examples to solve. In the first one, I have a sales report with all the months of the year from January to December. And as we can clearly see, December is not done yet. So I need to find what is the total sales that I need to have in December in order to hit the target. And I need to consider that the actual value is equal to $220,000 and the goal is $250,000. Another example that we have now, instead of only having one blank cell, now we have three blank cells. In the way I need to calculate or the goal seek two needs to calculate for me what is the values that I need to have in October, November, and December in order to hit the target. The third example, I need to make sure I can have a break even pointing of the gross profit. So let's say this is a inventory list with a lot of different products, item 01, 02, a lot of different items. And all those items have a different quantity in stock and also a different cost. And also, they have a different price. So let's say the first product I have here a negative profit, of course, because I only purchased this profit and I haven't sold any of those products yet. So maybe if I the quantity sold is equal to 10, maybe I can have a break even point of the gross profit. I don't know. Let's see. Enter. Okay, not yet. Let me change to maybe 55. Not yet. Maybe if I sell 100 units of this specific item, I can have a break even point of the gross profit. Let me hit enter again. Okay, now I surpass the, I surpassed the goal. So I don't want to have a profit. I just want to see what is the break even point of the gross profit. What is the, what is the value that I need to input right here to the gross profit be equal to zero? And instead of trying to figure out what is a mathematical equation that I can input here to help me with this problem, we can easily use the Go Seek in Excel. It's much easier and faster than trying to figure out uh, the problem and try to find a mathematical equation. And the last problem that I have, I have a student's list with all the five different tests that all those students got. But uh, as we can see, the fifth test is not done yet. But uh, anyway, I want to make a prediction here about the final grade. That is basically a average. I'm using here a average function to calculate the final grade, the average. And the goal here is all those students need to at least hit a final grade of 8, equal to or greater than 8. However, uh, because the fifth test is not done yet, I don't know if it's possible or not, let's say, for the first student to hit this goal, or for the second one, or for the third one. And instead of manually calculate all those fifth tests, so let's say the first student, maybe he can have here a 8 in the, as a result of the fifth test. I can hit enter. I can see that the average grows a bit. However, not enough to hit the goal. And anyway, so I need to find here all the grades to the last test to be possible to all those students hit the goal that is equal to 8 or greater than 8. The goal seek function again can help me with this calculation. But let's start with the first example. As we saw before, I have a sales report with all the months, the quantity sold, and also the sales, the quantity, the total sold throughout the months. And I need to hit the goal that is 250,000. However, I'm still at 220, roughly thousand dollars. How much I need to sell here in December to be able to hit this target? So what I can do is manually try to input the numbers right here and try to hit the goal, or I can use the goal seek tool. I think it's much easier. So I go to the data tab and to the right, I have what if analysis, I can click here. And then I can go to go see with this new window that's going to appear here for me. I have three options to input information. In the first one, I have set cell. And in this cell right here, I need to select the cell where I'm going to have the final result. And in this case right here, the final result that is going to tell me if it's matched or not with the target is the actual value or this is a specific cell right here. So in the cell where I want to be equal to the target, right? So I need to select this specific cell because this cell is the cell that needs to be equal to my target. So let me select this cell right here. And then I want to set this cell to the value of 250,000. 
by changing the cell, this yellowish one right here. And that's it. Now let me click OK. And we can see, we can notice immediately that Excel is going to calculate here the result. Let me click OK. And that's it. So if I want to hit a target of $250,000, in December, I need to sell this quantity right here. Pretty easy to use the go seek instead of manually trying to figure out what is the number or even worse, try to mathematical create a formula or a function right here. Now let's move on to the second example where I have something that is a bit more complicated because now I have three blank cells. I can do this, the same thing as before. But because we have three different cells, the go seek cannot calculate three cells at once. So what I can do is I can calculate the result for just one single cell and then I can divide this result by three. And then I can copy and paste the result for all those cells that I have. I'm going to show you here with the practical example. It's much easier to understand the concrete than the abstract, right? So let me go again to the data tab. And I want to go to what if analysis and go see. With this board again, set cell is the cell that I need to match with my go. Okay, so I want to select this cell right here because this cell needs to be equal to my go. Let me clicking the cell, okay, to the value of, now is $300,000. By changing the cell, look what's gonna, going to happen if I select more than just one single cell. I basically select all those three cells. Let me click OK. And as we can see, I cannot do it. So this is why I'm just going to select one single cell and then click OK. Excel is calculated for me the result, as we can notice, and then OK. And yeah, that's it. So $112,000 is what I need to sell for all those three cells to be able to hit the target, as we can clearly see right here. Now, the actual is equal to the target. However, I don't want to have the total result in just one single cell. Maybe I can split this result into those three cells. So what I'm going to do here is one, two, to open the cell. And immediately before the first number, I can input a equal sign to make sure we can calculate in Excel, and then I can divide by three, hit enter. Okay, this is the result for October. If I click, hold and drag down at the bottom right corner of the cell, I make sure I have the same result for all the three last months. And that's it. We can see the result is the same, but now we basically separated all those three different months. Let's move on to the third example that we have, or the third problem. When I need to, I have an inventory release and I need to find what is the break even point of the gross profit. Let's say for the first item, I just purchased 79 items or 79 units. And how many units I need to sell to have a gross profit equal to zero? The break even point, maybe 55 or 65. I don't know. We, cl we are closer, but let's calculate it throughout the Go Seek tool. Let's go again to what if analysis and then Go Seek. With this part that's going to open here for us, the set cell again, as we did learn before, is the cell where I want to match with my criteria, with my goal. What is this cell right here that I want to be equal to my goal, equal to zero, the break even point, the gross profit, right? So it's the gross profit that I want to select. Okay, now I want to set this cell to the value of zero dollars by changing the cell, this yellowish one right here, in underneath the quantity sold. Let me hit OK, and we can notice that Excel is calculating for us. Of course, I cannot sell a half of a, a unit of the item, okay? I can't sell a decimal quantity. However, we can have an idea. So maybe if we round up this number, we're going to have 66 quantities, okay? So that's it. Now, maybe this is the break-even point. And we can do it for all the other rows to make sure we can find the break-even point to all the items that we have. And the last example here that we have is about the student's list, as we did so before. And here I need to figure out what is the last test grade that all those students need to have to be able to have an average at least equal to eight. So what I can do is let me take here, for example, Andrew, and then I can go again to what if analysis, go seek, and with this board that's going to open for me, Maybe I can, instead of use Andrew in this example, because Andrew already have eight in the average, maybe I can take here Julia, for example. So yeah, let's take Julia as example. So set cell is going to be the cell where I want to change. That is this one right here, right? So 
the average needs to be equal to at least equal to 8. So to the value of 8, by changing the cell, this one right here. And then I'm going to click OK. And immediately Excel is going to calculate what is the final grade that these specific students need to take to be able to hit the goal. And as we can see right here, 12 is the final grade that Julia needs to have to be able to hit 8 in the final grade. Maybe it's not possible because the maximum grade that we have is equal to 10. So what I can do here is maybe Julia needs to do an extra test, but I don't know. So this is how we can calculate it. Maybe if I take here another X student, let's maybe take, let's say here, the second student. Let's calculate to what uh, needs to be the final grade to this specific student. The cell that I want to change to hit the goal is the average to the value of 8 by changing the cell of the test 5 and then OK. Oh, here we have OK, 10. So yeah, here we go. It, this is possible. The student need to have a perfect score then to be able to have the 8 as the final grade. So this is how we can use the goal seek in Excel with four different practical examples to be able to find what is the result that we need in order to hit our goal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and of course, if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below because every day has a new video. So I see you there.